Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I'm going to be telling you about the four most exclusive credit cards that you can possibly get here in the UK. Obviously these cards are quite hard to get, but they do offer some very, very good rewards, especially the last card. So be sure to stick around until the end of the video to see just how crazy these rewards get. Also, before we get started, only around 3% of you are actually subscribed to the channel, which is really low. So subscribe, it's free and you can always unsubscribe later if you want. Now let's get into the video. In the UK, we obviously have a number of different tiers of credit cards. For example, some credit cards you can get when you have no credit, like when you just turn 18. Or you can get them when you have bad credit. For example, if you miss a payment or you have a CCJ against your name. Cards like a Capital One Classic card or a Barclays Forward credit card would be great for somebody that has no credit or bad credit as these can really help boost your credit score over time. After you build your credit score up a little bit and have kind of like a medium high credit score, you can get other credit cards like a Capital One Platinum credit card or a Discover card. When you've worked up your credit score even more to a high credit score or maybe even maxed out your credit score, you'll be able to get a credit card that has a higher credit limit, maybe like an American Express or an MBNA purchase card or a John Lewis card. The earlier credit cards, you'll probably have a credit limit of somewhere between £500 and £2,000, but with these later credit cards, you'll probably have a credit limit of somewhere around £10,000, if not maybe even more. But believe it or not, there's actually a tier of credit cards above this kind of like max tier. Again, obviously you'll need a pretty much maxed out credit score, and these cards also have some quite stringent requirements. They might also have a large upfront fee or a large annual fee, but they do come with a lot of benefits and a lot of rewards. Starting off, we have the rarest card. Now you might notice something a little bit different about this card, namely that it's quite shiny and it's quite gold. And that's because it's actually made out of solid 18 karat gold supplied directly from the Royal Mint. Rarest have actually designed this card in tandem with the Royal Mint, and it's like a dual offering. Rarest and the Royal Mint have come together to offer this service and they've used MasterCard as the payment provider. This card will obviously set you back quite a pretty penny. As far as I could find, it doesn't actually have an annual fee, but it does have a one-off upfront fee of £18,750. Yep, that's right, nearly 19 grand for a solid little piece of gold that you can swipe to pay for something. But obviously, for all this money, you do get quite a lot of rewards and quite a lot of benefits. Firstly, it's part of the MasterCard World Elite program. But what exactly does that mean? Well, as part of this program, you get free travel insurance, you get room upgrades, you get free access to airport lounges, you get discounts off car hire, and a whole bunch of other discounts as well. They offer discounts on a whole bunch of hotels, such as booking X nights and getting one night free. They offer discounts at a whole bunch of shopping centres all over the world, such as the one in Bicester Village or the one in Westfields in London. And they also offer discounts on experiences and activities. Now these are some pretty good benefits, but you can get these benefits with any card that's part of the MasterCard World Elite program, such as the Santander World Elite credit card, or the HSBC Premier World Elite credit card. So how is the rarest card different from these cards? Obviously other than being made out of gold. Well with the rarest credit card there's actually no spending limit or no credit limit. You could even go and buy a new car with the credit card if you wanted to. But obviously you would have to pay it off pretty quick or you'd start incurring some pretty hefty interest and it'd damage your credit score. They also offer no forex fees and no transaction fees. So that means you could go to any country, anywhere in the world and pay for something using a different currency but they won't charge you that like 4% or 5% or 2% transaction charge. All in all I think that for this card you're mostly paying for that novelty of having an 18 karat solid gold card made by the Royal Mint. The benefits for this card aren't quite as good as some of the other cards, but it's obviously going to be pretty cool having an actual gold card. The next card on the list is the Barclays Infinite card. Now unfortunately this card isn't made out of solid gold. In the UK this card is made out of boring old plastic. But if you actually get the US version of the card, it's made out of stainless steel, which is pretty cool. Fortunately, as this card is only made out of plastic and not gold, it won't set you back nearly £19,000. There's actually no upfront fee, and the annual fee is about £150 per year. But you do have to maintain at least a £50,000 balance in either a current account or a savings account, or a £50,000 balance in an investment ISA. If you don't live in the UK, it's actually even a little bit more stringent. While you do get the benefit of having that stainless steel card, you actually have to maintain a balance of at least 150,000 in an account or in an investment ISA. Now the benefits with this card are much better. 
The first benefit is 24-7 access to their lifestyle concierge system. You just give them a call and they'll do pretty much anything they can to help you. Maybe they'll help you plan a holiday and even find all the deals for you. Or they'll give you dinner recommendations and even book the table for you. Or maybe they'll book tickets for you to an event or to a concert. Or maybe they could even arrange to have a plumber come to your property, change your broken dishwasher and even take away the old one. You also get access to their priority pass system. So you not only get free access to all these lounges at airports, but even get free food and free drink at them as well. You also get free travel insurance and obviously other little benefits like that. So while unfortunately you don't get all the transaction fees waived and you don't get a solid gold credit card, I could imagine that that 24-7 concierge system would be pretty handy. If you're enjoying the video so far then be sure to drop a like down below if you haven't already as this really helps out my channel with the YouTube algorithm. Third on our list is the American Express Centurion card. Now while you probably have heard of this card, what you probably haven't heard of is just how crazy the benefits get. The first thing to say about this card is that it's definitely one of the harder cards to get hold of on this list and also one of the more expensive. It's got an upfront fee of £2,500 and an annual fee of £2,200 a year according to Wikipedia. You also need to have spent at least £250,000 a year on one of your other American Express cards. This credit card isn't made out of plastic, which is a good thing, but unfortunately it's not made out of solid gold. Although it is actually made out of titanium which is pretty unique and pretty cool. Although I don't know if I'd want to spend £2,000 just for a small little titanium card. So what are the benefits? It has all of the, what I would call, normal benefits, being like free travel insurance, access to the airport lounges, discounts, events, activities, experiences, all that kind of stuff. You also get access to special Centurion lounges at airports, which are better than the regular lounges and contain like upgraded food and drinks. You also get a membership with pretty much all of the hotel chains all over the world, meaning you get free room upgrades, free massages, late check-ins and late check-outs, you also get priority boarding with airports, and you even get a worldwide membership to Equinox gyms, and it has no credit limit. Now that unlimited spending limit really is unlimited with the American Express Centurion card. There have been plenty of stories of people making crazy purchases with their Centurion card. Someone bought a $56 million private jet with their card, somebody else bought a $117 million painting, and that same person also bought a $36 million teacup from the Ming Dynasty. But the real benefit comes with their Centurion concierge service. Obviously you get the normal benefit of finding holiday deals, booking dinner reservations, buying concert tickets and more but they even go that one step further and could even get you into a fully booked restaurant and even find you some sold out concert tickets. But they'll also try their hardest to fulfil any kind of crazy request that you might have providing it's legal. Again, there's been plenty of stories of concierge employees finding discontinued and expensive bottles of whiskey, or researching rare leathers to find the best briefcase for someone. One cardholder sent a photo of a teddy bear to a concierge employee, and that employee managed to find the exact same teddy bear and order it for them. Again, there's another story of one cardholder who had a son that was based in London who needed a handful of sand from the Dead Sea for a school project. The concierge service contacted their overseas office who sent out an employee to get some sand from the Dead Sea and fly it back all the way to the UK. The possibilities are endless really with an American Express Centurion card and if you are someone that enjoys old whiskies and discontinued whiskies or is some form of collector, this benefit alone could be worth that high annual fee. Now some of you might say, well I don't really have a passion for collecting old things so this benefit wouldn't really be much use to me. And again that's absolutely fine, but obviously if you are someone that collects old whiskies or video games or Pokemon cards, then obviously this could be the card for you. The final card on our list is the Coot Silk card. Now this card definitely has the most crazy benefits and is also probably the most difficult card to get your hands on. You need to maintain at least a balance of £1 million with the bank and you also have to have an annual salary of at least £500,000 a year. If you spend more than £50,000 a year on the credit card, they'll nicely waive the annual fee for you, which is £350 a year. So not actually that expensive. A lot of the benefits with the Coots card are pretty similar to the American Express Centurion card, but just that little bit better. 
For example, it as well comes with travel insurance, but the travel insurance provided by Coots is a little bit better than the one provided by American Express and has like a higher limit and also covers more kinds of incidents. But unfortunately the Coots card, as far as I can find, is actually plastic. You can also earn Coots crown points, which I guess are pretty similar to American Express points, but when you reach certain milestones of points, like 50,000 points, 100,000 points, 25,000 points, you get free gifts. Coops also have a concierge service which is pretty similar to the Centurion concierge service and will obviously give an arm and a leg to try and fulfil any kind of crazy request that you might have. But the Coops service might actually be even a little bit better. They could even get you access to out of hours shopping. So for example you could go and wander around Westfields at 2am if you wanted a bit more of like a private shopping experience. Although strangely enough, the airport lounge access from Coops isn't actually as good as the airport lounge access from American Express. You only get access to 700 lounges across the world instead of access to over a thousand lounges. You also have to pay 20 pounds each time you visit an airport lounge. Although I suppose a 20 quid access fee is probably the least of your worries if you have at least a million pounds deposited with Coops. The Coops card also gets you access or gets you membership to a whole bunch of private gentlemen's clubs in London. Now a gentlemen's club is somewhere you can go to eat, drink, gamble, work and socialise with other wealthy individuals. Some of the most exclusive gentlemen's clubs like Whites, Brooks and Boodles are usually reserved for people with like a royal heritage, like Dukes or Earls or Barons, so obviously you could be mixing amongst these people as well. So there you have it, there's the top 4 most exclusive UK credit cards. Let me know down in the comments below which card you would most like to have and why. And as always guys if you enjoyed this video then be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively subscribe to the channel and ding the notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers!